flag is up, so final race of the afternoon. Starter is ready. They're off. They race away at the beginning of the centre of the track here, and then they've got a long distance, three and three quarter miles, 23 fences to take. Mr. Van Gogh in the royal blue and red will be the leader of the seven at fence number one. They clear it with the back marker, Embassy Gardens, so round the turn now towards the home straight for the first time, about a two or three length lead for Mr. Van Gogh. Henry's friend, mainly dark blue, got some yellow stars on the jacket, runs along in second place. He's a little wide of Kilbeg King, combination of light blue and red, who's a length and a half behind in third place. Then the one mare in the lineup, Apple Away, gold and white colour, she's already won the prize for the best turned out. And she runs in fourth place, just ahead of Salvador Ziggy. That's the black and pink. Uh, then Corbett's Cross, green and yellow jacket and white cap. Embassy Gardens, a red cap is the back marker as they take number two. And there'll be about ten lengths, first to last. Uh, this time down the straight, four fences in total. Moving on to the next one of those, number three overall. And Mr Van Gogh continues to have the leads. Uh, just fumbling his leap at the rear. There was Embassy Gardens, but um, over it uh, well enough nonetheless. So onto the main part of the circular track they come, and it's Mr. Van Gogh leading from Henry's friend. On the extreme left then is Apple Away. And then against the running rail, Kilbeg King. Salvador Ziggy behind those. Green of Corbett's Cross and Embassy Gardens. Jumping over number four, fairly short run down towards number five, and then after that, they'll have two circuits remaining. So Mr. Van Gogh at this fifth plane fence, uh, leading with a field about eight, ten lengths first to last as they run now on towards number six. Second place for Henry's friend, longest price runner in the lineup, but he's looking for his fourth win in a row. Apple away, he's about a neck behind him. She runs in third place. And then Kilbeg King in the checks in fourth as they jump this plain fence, taking him away to the far side. Behind those, Salvador Ziggy, pink and black diamond jacket. Of those that have run at the festival before, he's got uh, the best performance, runner-up in last year's Potemps Hurdle final. A couple of lengths ahead of Corbett's Cross, continues to be a little wide. And then Embassy Gardens, dark blue and yellow jacket, a red cap. He's on a... Patrick, if he wins this, they're over the next plane fence before the water, which is fence number eight this time. It'll be 18 the second time they take it. And they continue to be led by Gina Andrews in royal blue and red colours of Mr. Van Gogh, winner at Exeter last time. Led to Apple Away, gold and white colours. She's the most successful in this lineup, the highest earner. Barry O'Neill running in second place. They come to the first of the open ditches, which is number nine. In fact, that pair touched down together over it. Uh, behind them is Henry's friend and Jack Andrews in the dark blue and yellow as they move on towards 10. And then Kilbeg King and Will Biddick as they jump this. There's not much between those in third and fourth places. Back in the field, there's Salvador Ziggy. Just nods on landing with Robert James. He's won from the rear because Derek O'Connor on Corbett's Cross has gone ahead of him now. Patrick Mullins on Embassy Gardens in no hurry continues to be last of the seven as they come then to fence number 11, the open ditch, right over the far side, the top of the hill. All jumped that well. It's about a two-length lead once again now for Mr. Van Gogh, who's about to swing left-handed and head downhill uh, for the first time, leading to Apple Away. She runs second. And then Kilbeg King in the check jacket in third place. Uh, behind Kilbeg King, or just about level with him now, is Henry's friend. Length and a half maybe to Corbett's Cross, five times a winner so far. Moved up ahead of Salvador Ziggy, won eight times. In terms of number of races, one, he's the most successful in the lineup. And he's just ahead of Embassy Gardens with a red cap at the rear of the field. One fence down the side of the course they have as they come over this. And uh, all take it OK. There continues to be no more than about 10 lengths first to last. With the lead still with Mr. Van Gogh, blue and red colours for Gina Andrews in this Maureen Mullins National Hunt Challenge Cup on the turn in towards the home stakes by about a length and a half over a circuit to go. Still second place for Barry O'Neill on Apple Away. And then the dark colours, the yellow stars, Jack Andrew, Henry's friend. 
Uh, Kilbeck King, the light blue and red jacket, nine year olds, the oldest in the lineup. Corbett's cross on the extreme left, getting close to Derek O'Connor as they take the first of two fences this time down the straight. Salvador Ziggy and Embassy Gardens' last couple of runners. Another plain fence. But, and nodding on landing there, Apple away, but she's okay, so a circuit remains. They run now away from us and heading on to the far side of the course with number 15 and the 23 coming up next, and it continues to be Mr. Van Gogh, leading by about a length and a half. Apple away in second place. A uh, good three lengths behind those. Kilberg King uh, coming to join Henry's friend. They take that together, third and fourth. A length behind those to Corbett's cross. The yellow hoops on the green jacket. And then comes Salvador Ziggy and Embassy Gardens together. But as they run away towards the far side, just kicking on a bit, Mr. Van Gogh. Goes to a four or five length lead as he approaches the plain fence before the water. Apple away, running in second position. Uh, she's just ahead then of Kilbeck King. Little nod on landing from Henry's friend. Corbett's cross continues to make progress. And then Salvador Ziggy and Embassy Gun. Second and final water jump coming up. And as they get over it, the lead continues to be with Mr. Van Gogh. Two more open ditches to take. First of those coming up now, number 18, with Mr. Van Gogh pursued by Apple away. Kilbeck King, Henry's friend, Corbett's cross, almost in line, three, four, five. Two lengths off those is Embassy Gardens in company with Salvador Ziggy. So still only about 10 lengths first to last here. Still Mr. Van Gogh, blue and red jacket. Now only about a length ahead. Apple away in second place. They've only got four fences to jump from here. The final open ditch is coming up. Henry's friend has weakened into last position. Kilbeck King, light blue and red, is in third. Green and yellow. Corbett's cross is in fourth. Then Salvador Ziggy, then Embassy Gardens. And Henry's friend is being pulled up before they jump this open ditch. But the six that remain are still led by Gina Andrews on Mr. Van Gogh. With three fences to jump, they're going to turn left-handed and head to home. Apple away in the gold colours running in second. Kilbeck King and Corbett's cross together in third and fourth. Embassy Gardens, a length and a half behind those. Red cap, dark blue jacket showing in fifth place. And then comes Salvador Ziggy, now the back marker of six that remain. Three plain fences to go from here. Mr. Van Gogh continues to have the advantage. Apple away in the gold and white colours is running in second. Corbett's cross on the left, green and yellow, white cap. Kilbeck King in the light blue and red jacket. Embassy Gardens took that in fifth position. They're away now from Salvador Ziggy. They're heading to the home turn. They've two fences to jump. It's getting hard work for Mr. Van Gogh. Apple away and Corbett's cross are both coming to challenge. Embassy Gardens is on the tails of those. Kilbeck King is next. They have two fences once they get into the home straight to jump. And they have five of them clear now, and they've only about three lengths between them. And Mr. Van Gogh backing on to Corbett's cross. On the left, then, Embassy Gardens. Apple away in the gold in the centre. Corbett's cross comes for the second last to take it up. Embassy Gardens on the left didn't jump it too well, and it's Corbett's cross. Final fence. Corbett's cross. This year it's a good leap at the final fence. He's got over it five, six, seven lengths ahead. Embassy Gardens has taken second. Then comes a long time leader, Mr. Van Gogh, but it's a question of how far for Corbett's cross of Derek O'Connor, who in the morning Mullins that's the high challenge cut by a very wide margin. Embassy Gardens in second, Mr. Van Gogh in third place, Kilbeck King and Apple away the next pair. Corbett's Cross has just won the Maureen Mullins National Hunt Chase. It's the fifth festival success for Derek O'Connor, third in this race. Congratulations. That was actually a very, very good performance, wasn't it? It was a super performance. Emmett has done a wonderful job. Uh, he has prepared them to perfection. We had a mishap in Fairy House, yeah. and I had to take the blame. I made a decision during the race to go into a gap. It closed on me, and we had a mishap. So it was a, it was a bad preparation, and it was my fault. Uh, but Emmett has recouped everything, and uh, he's turned him out here in great shape. Yeah. Emmett was saying that the signs were there with the schooling session that he did. Were you on board that day? Yeah, yeah, that was very pleasing. Yeah. Right. That was very pleasing last uh, Thursday morning, I think it was. And uh, it, was, it, was seen, it was just like what you've seen today. It was beautiful to watch. And did he school in the hood as well? He schooled in the hood. Um, I'm not sure what the reasoning for the hood was. Maybe to get him to relax while he's racing, uh, but it's, it's all helped to the performance today. As we've seen, it was, it was brilliant, effect, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. Talk me through the race from your perspective and how it went. It was a very simple race with a small field like that with uh, a great bunch of riders and, and, and horses with a lot of experience. Let it be a novice, 
because of the criteria to get into the race, you have to have ran over the trip and completed on a certain amount of times, and then the riders have to have a certain amount of experience. So it's it's a better quality race than it used to be, and it's about a higher standard of horses and jockeys. So it's actually a very, very good race today. Um, and the race went seemingly. Yeah. Well, this could be a, a springboard to proper grade one chases for this winner, don't you think? Well, you know, it's not for me to say, but I think I think that was a very good performance. <laughs> it felt quality to you. Absolutely, yeah, top draw. Yeah. You've got a really good book of rides at the festival. Uh, uh, you have, haven't you, though? I know the way nice. you're thinking, yeah, and also with yeah, it's on the yeah. line. They're nice, but come here, today was important uh, to get us off to a good note, so whatever happens, happens. We'll, we'll take this today, and whatever happens the rest of the week will happen. Okay, yeah. well, best of luck for the rest of the week. Thank well done much. here, Derek. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.